Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics class, intersection of solids, video 9. In this video, we are going to discuss a very interesting question. A pentagonal prism is standing on its base on the ground. A pentagonal prism is standing on its base on the ground with one base side perpendicular to VP. One base side perpendicular to VP. One base side perpendicular to VP. This pentagonal prism has got a side of 30 mm and a height of 100 mm. I have drawn the plan of the pentagon black. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Plan and elevation and also an end view. When you look from there, you will see four vertical edges. 1, 2, 3, 4. A, F, you will see. A, double dash, F, double dash. B, G, you will see. B, double dash, G, double dash. And the C, H, C, double dash, H, double dash. And the left, E, double dash, J, double dash. And the edge. This is A, B, C, D, I, D, I, this is D, I, D, I, D, double dash, I, double dash should be dotted, it will coincide with the axis, okay. You can, you can draw this by following the procedure of drawing. This is the procedure, you have to project all these points, you have to project all these points and then draw arcs and go I am not completely drawing it. You have to follow the procedure. Okay, now this is penetrated by this prism standing on its base like this is penetrated by a triangular prism like this. The triangular prism has got a side of 40 mm and it goes through there, goes through and goes out at the other side. Triangular prism. Agreed? What is the plan of this triangular prism? Triangular prism has got a side of 40, so it is a 40 80 rectangle. Passing through the center, the two axes intersect. The two axes intersect. So this is 40. But when you come to the elevation, this is not 40. This is the altitude of the triangle. It's the altitude of the isosceles triangle. Agreed? In the end view, you will see the equilateral triangle. The side is 40. The side of the triangle is 40. This is 40. This is 40. Agreed? Now, where all does the cutting plane, I mean, where all does the penetrating prism cut the vertical prism? The first horizontal edge 1, 4 will cut it at P1, 2, 6, 2, 5 will cut it at P2, 3, 6 will cut it at P3, similarly Q1, Q2, Q3. Q1, Q2, Q3. We have to find out at which all places the horizontal edges cut the vertical prism. 1, 4 cut it at P1, 2, 5 cut it at P2, 3, 6 cut it at P3. On the other side, 1, 4 cut it at Q1, 2, 5 Q2, 3, 6 Q3. Now, let us project them to the elevation. P1 and projected to the elevation will give you P1 dash. A projected through P2 will pass through P3, so this is P2 dash as well as P3 dash. And in the case of other side, Q1 dash. And projected through Q2 will pass through Q3, so this is Q2 dash as well as Q3 dash. Now, the question is, is it sufficient? The problem is, the vertical edges of the vertical prism cut the surface of the horizontal prism. Where are they? You can see them here. M double dash. N double dash, R double dash, S double dash. Agreed? Where is M and N? M and N at G dash, GB, BG. So this is M, comma N, this is R, comma S. So this is the intersection curve in the plan, no doubt. This is the intersection curve in the plan. Now, what happens in the elevation? Where are they in the elevation? It is not obtained from the plan. If you project M and N 
M N R S it coincide. You have to come from here. What do you get? This is M dash as well as S dash, whereas this is N dash as well as R dash. So where is the curve? The curve starts from the curve starts from the actual curve is like this. P one dash, M dash. P two dash, N dash, R dash, P three dash. Yeah, I, there is no space there. I'll write it clearly here. Here, you can see. Okay. P one dash, M dash, P two dash, N dash, R dash, P three dash, S dash. P1 dash. That's actual uh, joint. That means P1 dash, M dash, M dash, P2 dash, P2 dash, R dash, R dash, uh, P2 dash, P1 dash, M dash, M dash, P2 dash, P2 dash, N dash, N dash, R dash is perpendicular to the bone itself. Then R dash, P3 dash, P3 dash, S dash, S dash. P1 dash. That means this will be removed. This small portion will be removed. So that is the intersection curve in the elevation on the left side. On the right side, let us see. On the right side, you have got Q1 dash, Q2 dash, and Q3 dash. Why coming from Q1 dash? Why coming from Q1 to Q2? No problem. Q1 to Q2. No obstruction. Then by going from Q2 to Q3, cut this at T double T T cut at T. That means this is T double dash. That means this is T dash. Q1 dash, Q2 dash, Q2 dash, T dash, T dash, Q3 dash, Q3 dash, T1 dash. I repeat, I will write it here. Q1 dash, Q2 dash, T dash, Q3 dash. Q3 dash, Q1 dash, Q1 dash, Q2 dash, T dash, Q3 dash, Q1 dash. That's a part. That means this has to be removed. This has to be removed. What happens to this? This is dotted. This is dotted. And in the plan, this is dotted. This is dotted. And this also is dotted. Standard question. An average student cannot do this unless he has done it earlier. It's very difficult to identify the points. I hope you will uh, draw this and learn. Agreed? Thank you.